Okay, let's add GitLab authentication to our Supabase application. So we're gonna start by going to gitlab.com. Make sure you're logged in, and then you should see your avatar or your profile logo in the upper right. Go ahead and click on your profile in the upper right and select Edit Profile from the drop-down menu. And down on the left, we're gonna go to Applications towards the top. Put the name of your new application. Uh, let's see. And the redirect URI, it's really important. We're gonna get that from our Supabase uh, dashboard. So just jump over to Supabase, make sure you're logged in and select a project that, uh, that you're working with. Make sure your project is all set up. Uh, and then once your project is selected, go down to settings on the left and then to API. This is your uh, API URL for your Superbase project. This is your project ID, which is unique to your project. So go ahead and copy that to the clipboard and then come back into GitLab and just paste it into the redirect URI box. And then to complete your redirect URI, you need to add to the end of your, uh, your API URL slash A-U-T-H slash V1 slash callback. This will be the same callback URL for any of the providers that, that you use. Uh, make sure confidential is selected. Check the scopes that you're gonna need uh, for authentication. In this case, read user is the only scope that we're gonna need. So we're gonna scroll down and uh, select save application. And now we have the client ID and the client secret that we're gonna need uh, for our application. So just copy the application ID, which we also call the client ID and then go back into your Superbase project. You're gonna go down to authentication settings and go down to GitLab and make sure GitLab is now enabled. Let's see, here's GitLab and paste in the client ID. And go back to your GitLab page and get the client secret. Copy it to the clipboard. Go back to your Superbase dashboard paste in the secret and scroll up till you see save and your keys are all set. Just make sure the site URL uh, under settings here is set to uh, the location of your application on the web. Uh, it defaults to localhost, but once you go live, this needs to be set to your, your actual web URL where your application lives. Okay, we're all set up, our keys are done. So the only thing we have left to do is to create some code for the client to log in and log out of our application. So this is using the Supabase JavaScript client. So make sure you import uh, Supabase JS into your application and you import the create client object. Now we need some code to instantiate a Superbase object so we can use that to log in and log out. Okay, so to get that, we're gonna go back to our Superbase project and we're gonna go over to API and down to authentication. And uh, Superbase very conveniently uh, pre-populates the code we need with our Superbase key and Superbase URL. So all we need to do is go down and find this client API key code, copy that to the clipboard, and go into our application and paste it. And there is our Superbase key and go back and copy the Superbase URL and the instantiation code, copy it, and then paste it in. The only thing is uh, we need to get rid of process ENV because that's for Node.js environments, and this is a client environment. So here we got it. Uh, the Superbase key and the Superbase URL are pre-populated. Here is our Superbase object using create client. Now we just need to create a couple of functions, one to log in and one to log out. So I'm going to say function, uh, login, GitLab. And then we'll create a function to log out of GitLab, or actually to log out of the application in general. If you use multiple providers, you'll only, you will only need one logout function to log out. And then later, uh, you can go back and make this a generic function. Uh, you could call it uh, login provider and then pass it a variable and use, uh, use that variable to log into any of our eight providers uh, in a single function. 
which is pretty cool. Okay, so now we need the actual login code. To get that, I'm just gonna go to the documentation, the Supabase documentation. Uh, under reference, we're gonna find auth sign in. Once you find auth sign in, look for sign in using third party providers. And here's the code we need. So all we need to do is copy this to the clipboard and then paste it right into our function. And again, uh, we'll change this from GitHub, which is the default in the documentation, to GitLab. And if you make this a generic function later and you pass it a variable here, you'd use that variable down here to uh, use the same function to log into GitHub, Google, GitLab, Bitbucket, Facebook, Apple. It'll work the same. And then we need a logout function. So we'll go back to the documentation and go to the sign out function and grab that one line of code that we need to sign out, which is pretty cool. Paste it down into our logout function. Now we have a complete login and logout functionality for our Supabase application.